his value has gone down in a significant way. I bet you if you were to inject some truth serum into Ducks GM Pat Verbeek, he would have essentially looked at the contract that they're giving Klingberg and said, hey, for $7 million bucks, we're going to probably have to pay five of it before he's traded. This was our way of buying a first round pick. And in this case, I just don't think that's going to work out. Klingberg's stock has plummeted. And it's not just because of the lack of point production. I think it's also been because there's been so little help around him on an Anaheim Ducks defense core that really kind of has three and a half bona fide NHL defensemen that his game has been exposed also defensively with some of the mistakes that he's made. I talked to uh, an NHL assistant general manager this morning who was saying, essentially, we view this guy as someone who is now a power play specialist that needs to be deployed in a sheltered way in his own end defensively. And so if you take a look at some of the teams that could be potential fits, I've identified three of them in the Seattle Kraken, the Calgary Flames, and yes, the team we just talked about, the New York Islanders. And the reason for that is I believe all three of these teams have the defensive players on their roster that you could partner Klingberg with where whatever impact negatively he might make in the defensive end, he can be sort of covered up for and sheltered a bit. Obviously, having some solid goaltending would help. You wouldn't be getting that necessarily in Calgary or Seattle. But for the Islanders, a team that just loaded up, depending on what the acquisition cost is, there's not a ton of cap space to go around, but depending on what the acquisition cost is, you could potentially see Klingberg making some sense, again, for a power play that struggled this year. You could see Seattle and that working, and, and Calgary just has the actual true defenders to pair him with um, that could also give your team a shot in the arm. So those are the three teams that I kind of see standing out. Calgary, of course, needs to eventually replace Oliver Shillington, depending on how that goes, and we're hoping for some news potentially on that this week. But those are the three teams that I see standing out for a guy in John Klingberg that just has really struggled this year in Anaheim.